Good afternoon. We're here in Gatesmead on the Haywards Heath Stroke Linfield borders and we're here to see number five which is the house you're looking at right now. Uh, Gatesmead is a very prime address. Uh, it's slightly crazy that it's not actually a Linfield address because the road behind us is Brook Lane which is Linfield and uh, Gatesmead comes off Birchin Lane which in turn comes off Portsmouth Lane which is also Linfield so one of those frustrating addresses for the people that live here that they're not a Linfield address but a very prime part. But um, just so you understand the location, Gatesmead it, it is a cul-de-sac. Uh, there has been a development at the end of the development which is at the end of the cul-de-sac which is just finishing and the good news about that is that uh, it is complete but there's actually a footpath just through from there which actually makes your walk to Hayward Heath Station a lot quicker but also that footpath joins up with Hayward Heath Golf Course and you can walk all the way up to Ardingly Reservoir which is absolutely uh, a stunning walk there but uh, this house uh, the owners have been in here about 10 years they've done well you'll see as we go around a, a complete refurbishment everything I think the electrics the plumbing the flooring the windows uh, all the kitchens and bathrooms and more sides that have been completely refurbished um, so let's have a look around to start outside here they've obviously widened this driveway and done lots of landscaping the rear garden you'll see in a minute is just as impressive as the house they've done a, a real lot of work out there um, so you've got a front garden parking for well, at least three cars here and something the garage is actually locked but if I was to open that garage door it's only a you know it's a, probably about a third of its original size so great for storage uh, wheelie bins and so on and bicycles because um, they've actually made a utility room and uh, a small gym outside but what they've got is this sort of carport to the side which one of the other houses in the road has actually filled this in and made a garage but you could extend this all the way through so you've got a lot of potential but even that is immaculate so anyway come and have a look inside but a lovely neighborhood this you're about a, just over a mile from Haywards Heath railway station you're just over a mile from Linfield High Street the golf club is literally just around the corner and for those that don't know this neighbourhood, you've got Clough's Delicatessen just round in Sunt Avenue, uh, which is great for all your daily needs. And also you've got the Witch Inn pub. So anyway, come and have a look around. So we've got a downstairs loo, all beautifully refurbished, lovely suite. This is what was the garage, so it's been put to better use. So they've got it very much as a gymnasium and a utility room. So when they're not washing clothes, they're getting fit so as you can see they've got a big treadmill in here and a TV on the wall but what a great little room put to mark far more use than a, than a garage also in the hall a big cloaks cupboard there and there's another cupboard here this house is immaculate and this cupboard alone will sum up what we're talking about even the understairs cupboard is immaculate so we come through we've got a sitting room here they very much remodelled the house with uh, modern daily living. So lots of things have been done. You'll see throughout this ground floor, they've got this engineered walnut flooring and the whole ground floor has got electric underfloor heating. So really lovely. But here's the living room. So a triple aspect room, big windows to the front, two little ones to the side. You've got this stove axe wood burning stove, which is rather lovely. And then they've got a set of bifolding doors out onto this garden, this garden. Uh, I don't get excited about many gardens that have been landscaped, but this one is just an absolute masterpiece. And then you've got uh, an archway here with sliding doors through to the kitchen dining area. So again, a great big room. Again, the engineered walnut floor throughout. Two sets of bifold do uh, bifolding doors and then this beautiful kitchen. This is all, um, this is a Wentworth kitchen, which uh, John Lewis supplied. It's fully loaded with all the appliances, all NEF appliances. And you've got this pretty, pretty impressive Faber extractor unit, which is good. All the worktops are Corian. Apologies, just realised I've left my folder on this worktop. But what a great big room. It's a huge open plan living area. And this garden is all south facing. I'll take you up there in a moment because there's a lot to be said about this garden. But so, great big open plan living area. So living room, dining area, and a big kitchen. Plus, don't forget, we've got the gym stroke utility room. I mean, that could be a little study if you prefer. And then this rather gently rising staircase. It doesn't seem like a normal rise on that staircase, but it's so a big landing, great big bit of space. That's the view across the road. Literally, those houses across the road don't have such big plots, but they're backing onto Brook Lane. Um, let's have a look around. So this is the smallest bedroom, so still a nice size double. Very much used as the home office at present. Again, outlet to the front. And 
and as we go around, the other three bedrooms are all pretty big. This one's quite large. Not sure if this house had an ensuite shower room before, but some of them didn't. They were built at a time where ensuites weren't a, a big thing. And this is the outlook over the rear garden. So you think that's all the garden, you're wrong. There is actually an upper section. You've got all these granite steps everywhere. I mean, this really is lovely. I mean, if you're a keen gardener, or you want an easy life, this is probably easier to maintain than a lawn garden because it's very much evergreen. The upper garden you'll see at a moment is very much a uh, productive vegetable garden. So great big bedroom there. And then this, I'd say it's probably the third size bedroom. They very much arrange this as just a pretty impressive dressing room really. So big range of wardrobes in here. Again, the lovely flooring. I mentioned underfloor heating downstairs, that's throughout the ground floor. Upstairs is just a traditional heating system to radiators. But they've also um, put underfloor heating in the bathroom. And then this is the main bedroom. So a great big main bedroom. We've got a huge bed in here. And again, these great big windows. I know we've got the blinds half lifted to give you an impre a better impression, but a lovely outlook. So that whole wall is just a bank of wardrobes and drawers, plenty of room for a big bed, and then they put this beautiful ensuite shower room in, which again has all been nicely done. This is, most of this has all been done more recently than 10 years, but it's a nice vanity unit, an oversized shower cubicle there, great big shower, and then the family bathroom. This is where decisions have to be made because that ensuite is nice. But I think this bathroom is even nicer. So come and have a look. So it's all fully tiled. All the walls are fully tiled. I do like, it's a very expensive thing to do tiling. But it is nice when you see a bathroom that's had everything done. So we've got a very pretty little vanity unit, a double ended freestanding bath, another shower, obviously the loo, and lots of little cupboards everywhere to get into the eaves space and then a frosted window overlooking the front of the property. So pretty impressive. So it just is really nicely proportioned. I'm sure if this house was built today, they would have squeezed the fifth bedroom in and the third bathroom and just squeezed a lot more space in. It's just nice. Some of these older houses definitely had a much more practical layout than most of the uh, modern properties that are built today. So come, in, come outside. So just to sum up downstairs, we've got a small garage stroke storage area the study stroke gym, the living room, this kitchen diner, who doesn't want to live in here? And then out to this garden. Now this is all south facing. So pretty much directly south facing. So this is all day sunshine. And it's arranged in sort of three sections. So you've got this lower area, which is this big timber deck. So plenty of scenery. If you like to entertain, I mean, there's the barbecue. If you like to entertain, this is just great. That's the rear of the uh, carport we were talking about. And lots of potential to extend the house here, so if you really wanted to. And then you've got the next section. This is very much just a seating area, just to follow the sun around. They've strategically placed things around the garden. So you've got a seating area for the morning sun. This, I guess, is for the afternoon sun or evening sun. That gives you an idea of the back of the house. So really lovely with all the bifolds. And obviously we're at upper level, so you may think it's not quite so secluded when you're on this level from the neighbors, but actually down on that deck area, it's totally private. And then come upstairs. On the details, I described this wall, this rendered wall. I'm not sure it's rendered or painted, but all very nice. And these really nice steps. I think this is granite. And then there's another oasis of a garden up here. I mean, look at this. You've got railway sleepers everywhere, more seating areas, plenty of veggie patches. They've got herbs. They've got everything growing up here and lots of plants, some fruit trees, another pretty little water feature with a pond, some goldfish there. Another bench strategically placed for the evening sun. And of course the potting shed. And you've got power up here, which is great. So a lovely big garden. Overall, the garden from the back of the house to the back boundary is only about 70 feet in length, but it is about 55 feet wide. Most people would be happy with half of this section up here, let alone the rest of it. But that gives you a pretty good idea of number five Gatesmead. I hope you like what you see. The house has got far more extras than I can ever remember walking around on a video, but it really is a special home. So if you'd like to come and have a look inside, please give us a call.